welcome. This is Ancient Gaming. I'm Zilla. I'm Tortoise. And uh, on this stream we talk about video games and their Ancient Studies content. And Tortoise is here as a puzzle expert. So uh, welcome. Welcome if you are new and welcome back if you've seen us before. We are in the middle of our playthrough of Chants of Senar, a game about learning languages. Um, feel free to say hi in chat, uh, and thank you for watching. So just a refresher, if you uh, have not watched anything about Chants of Senar before, this game is, uh, there are no English words in it. Um, well, sorry, we get translations. Uh, it is a puzzle exploration game where we walk around. We are this fellow here in the red robes. Uh, we walk around trying to find out what is going on in the world and ascend a tower that looks uh, perhaps explicably like the Tower of Babel as it is often depicted. On each level of the tower there is a new group of people with their own set of customs and beliefs and their own glyphic language. That is to say that meaning is contained in the characters rather than those being a reflection of how the language sounds. We don't know how any language sounds, uh, but when characters speak, we see the glyphs that they're using. So at this point in the game, uh, we are on the third layer. Uh, if you do not wish to see spoilers, then I suggest you go start at the beginning. All recordings are on my YouTube channel, Zilla's Athenaeum. Uh, but we are at this point in the realm of the musicians, uh, who the layer below, the warriors seem to think that the musicians are the chosen ones, the people to be worshipped and protected. Um, however, the musicians seem to be in a strict caste system with elites who stand around in pursuit of beauty, pursuing art and leisure, and servant caste who literally live below. Um, we are currently in the servant tunnels that run under everything, and we have just happened upon what appears to be the workshop of some resistance movement. Uh, that painted character you see over there on the wall is probably the character for freedom, and I'm very excited, and I hope we get to lead a revolution. Or, uh, not lead, but spark. Mm -hmm. One thing that I just realized going through my notes is that the character that it has been painted over, which probably means like servants, it has the sickle shape that we've associated with oh, people, people, but upside down. If you remember in the <laughs> warrior's language... Oop, that's not the button. This will happen frequently. In the warrior's language, there was this Y shape that uh, you see in a couple of these that when inverted meant impure. Right. And so, so this is the character that in the warrior language means impure. You can see the base of it is an inverted Y, whereas most characters meaning people, like this one or this one, have the upright Y. And so here, we're pretty sure that this, with that sort of <coughs> base of a five sickle shape, we think that means that it's people, because we see here it's musician, we see down here warrior, um, and so this could be, it could be the symbol for servant, with that five shape inverted. Oh, oh. <laughs> And so nice in, both, in both cases, you have this sort of, like, maybe not viewed as, you know, fully you know, being second class, certainly. Yeah. Um, 
So this this rating system we talked about a couple of times has a characteristic of having sentences joined with this base line, almost like a Devanagari script, except with glyphs, obviously, instead of syllabus. Not uh, syllabus. Sy syllables. Wow, I can speak. <laughs> I have a linguistics degree. <laughs> um, <coughs> You know, it's, it's kind of like getting a higher degree in math. The further, the higher you go, the less you can do numbers. <laughs> the further you go with linguistics, the less your language makes any sense. <laughs> rules, what rules? Rules are for chumps. <laughs> um, so, We had a couple other things about this language. Oh, right, they they tend to use sort of sentence classifiers at either end of, of, a, of a sentence. So a not will appear at either side or a, what we think is a question marker. Um, we have a lot of stuff here that we don't know what it is yet, um, but we do have some guesses. Um, we had guessed that a symbol appearing above the line, unattached, might be a noun. Um, whereas attached to the line with a dot to the upper right seems to be a verb. So, so we can guess that this is neither of those. It's got a, it's attached. It's got a dot below. But if it means servant or slave, that sickle shape might actually be important. Um, one other thing that I noticed about the sort of visual features is that the symbol for beauty down there um, has sort of the same triangle slash pyramid motif that we've seen for god in the mm. priestly language and duty in the warrior language just on its yeah, side that's true and so this may be mm. sort of the generic higher power what we worship yeah thing that makes sense so on the first level with the devotees it was god on the second level with the warriors it was duty and here it's beauty although who knows what the slaves worship Just take a look at these posters again. I think they're cool. So that one might be like B free. Uh, not sh uh, me. Oh, us. Yeah. Or we. Yeah, plural um, I. So maybe something like we will be free. We will obtain our. We will, we will obtain free. becoming free, something yeah. like that. That kind of construction, so with a with a sort of a helper verb to uh, to make it a, a perfective statement. So uh, there are two verbal aspects. <laughs> I have a whole video on verbal aspect, but uh, the basic concept is, you know, there are two sort of senses of what a verb, like how long a verb takes, essentially. Um, there are more than two. Uh, but usually they come down to perfective and imperfective. A perfective verb is something that happens and is over, like a definitive <coughs> happening. And then an imperfective is some length of time or repeated pattern or habit. These are the two most common. There, there are others. Uh, I per personally love the aorist, um, just because it's you know kind of funky and weird. I, I'm, you know, there's also the habitual, um, a notable feature of, for instance, African American vernacular, um, where you, if you've heard the habitual B. So, so here we might be expressing a perfective aspect using the verb to get, to obtain. We will get becoming free. We will take our freedom. But we'll see. Um, so this appears to be sort of a servant's area, maybe, who 
knows. Um, we're looking around the tunnels. Uh, oh, I was thinking that the dot below might mean place. I remember now. Hmm, so place of servants. Yeah, the place of servants. Because this leads to... Um, so that's the place of servants, but this is a place marked with that sign, uh, which we didn't figure out what it meant, but, but that's above too. So this is, this is that place. point we came down to look for a lost necklace. I don't remember whether we found it. <laughs> <coughs> um, the, uh, the unfortunate thing is that last week I wasn't feeling well, so it's been two weeks since I was doing this, and I know it's a bit of a maze down here. Hello, rat creature. Birds above, rats below. Yes, we were thinking we might be able to um, drain, the water. drain the water so we could get the necklace. I have no idea where I am. That's that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> That I, I keep looking at these pipes that are up close to the ceiling, and they remind me very much of um, Greek and Roman clay pipes, which you still find buried all over all over the uh, Mediterranean. And these huge, like persons person diameter or more clay pipes <coughs> that have survived millennia. And they're often painted kind of like that with these stripes. Um, that they're more even, and they help to mark the length. So they're very practical. The fact that we saw some rats running along the... Oh, hello. What's this? Ooh. Okay. The fact that we saw some rats running along one of the passageways as opposed to the pipes up above makes me wonder if we're going to have some sort of puzzle where we have to get a rat to do something for us. Unknown. Okay, so here we see one of these. Instruments, it looks like. Yes. This was the instrument place. I remember this. The servant working on creating instruments. Mm -hmm. So I guess we've just made a shortcut. Yes. So this is where we came into the servant's quarters. Had we been to the other room down there? Or? I don't know, but I, I just want to kind of get a sense of where I am. Okay, this is the place with the, the m monkey things? No. It's just a lot of these people. Oh yes, this is the place with the monkey things. Do we have any more fruit that has regrown? No, we don't. I mean, did the place that had the fruit regrow? Uh, I don't think so. Because it was hanging from this tree over here. I guess not. Okay. So. Oh, where am I? You're behind it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to treat this a bit like a maze. <laughs> this before. Oh. I was hoping for one of these. So these are teleport points. 
That is incredibly cheeky if we don't get more fruit for the monkeys. Hi, Nanoft. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Okay, so... So, a warrior versus nothing. We don't know yet. We continue to have this numbering system. It looks like that's as many things as we can add to one... Unless we add on the other side as well, which is certainly a possibility. Yeah. No idea yet what side. Um... So one of these we should be able to fully translate now, right? Yeah. Do you remember which one? It's definitely one of the first three, but... Okay, well let's, let's teleport. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Nothing there. I think number one was was scientist. Scientist. For those of you who can see, this is my cat Freya. She has come to play it long. <laughs> ah, yes, here we are. So we have impures do not pass. We translated that into a into devotee. Impure do not create music. And then we have the devotee saying, yes we do. Devotees create music. So plural. Impure. Impure. Uh, and then that thing that looks like they're flexing their biceps. devotee has pulled up a little mandolin which we did see on that level yep. so um, warriors was one of these upright L things we have love love was that that Something has changed in the tower. Oh, that's exciting. I don't know what that means at all, but I'm very happy about it. Oh. Uh. Can you go back to the dots? Like, I hadn't realized it at first. I just thought the five dots were randomly swirling, but it's actually like a three-dimensional oh, object. Yeah, it's a three-dimensional object. A three-dimensional object And we're which... going to connect the pairs by doing these translations. A three-dimensional object which, when completed, will look an awful lot like that triangular symbol we've yep. been calling the object of worship. Yep. Either god or... Uh, duty or beauty. Yeah, oh. we could probably put this at different angles to make those different symbols. Um, Very cool. And I wonder if the other thing, which had the that weirdly shaped key that we've run across, hmm. like it seemed like it was some kind of elevator or something. Yeah. So I wonder if that has changed, but something has changed. Exciting. Now let's go back to where we were. Um, so we can see that that change is everywhere. And then down here, it looks like we have some kind of broken up bits of. Oh. Ooh. Huh. I mean, that piece goes on the 
yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out the interface. The interface. It looks like we have a translation between devotee and uh, and musician. Some kind of depiction of a hand. Interesting. So this implies that there used to be more connection between the tower. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Looks like there used to be some kind of friendship. I saw it you, you found me. I saw it you. You I presumably found. So seek and which one is find that thing? Uh, find. So we have this as get, which is not that far off from seek. You look for, obtain, acquire. Those those senses will overlap differently in different languages. So. So it would be like we seek to be free. Yeah, could be. So. We'll call it seek since we have seek from the other one. Of course, it will get confirmed at some point. Oh, probably right now, in fact. Okay. Uh, Let me just double check what we have. Yeah, make sure that I am remembering which one is which. Uh, I don't have this one written down as well. so. Uh, you is the one with two. That one is you. Okay, good. The other one is I. And then that's seek. And that's fine. Seek or want. Excellent. This gazebo has that place on it. Mm -hmm. yeah, the right hand rule is a little bit complicated, is uh, somewhat fuzzy when you go into three dimensions. <laughs> my necklace, my necklace. Will you find my necklace? All right, we can see it down there. Um, yeah, however, there don't seem to be openings up here. Well, there's the one that goes off to the left. Oh, there is. There's one that mm -hmm. goes to the right here, which I hadn't noticed. No. Nope. Well, that's no, that's where we came from. Okay, so this is not a real opening to the right of this. But so the only actual place to go from here that we have not come from is. Okay, we've been here. This is here. the boat. This um, is the one I think we had to fix. We have... Place of something, place of servants. And this is the... It's the... 
tool shed. Tool shed. <laughs> I wonder if we can still pick things up. No. Once we get the item that they wanted, we are no longer. And what was on the other side of the thing? That's just replaying the dialogue. Okay, so how do I make I think it? if you just go up further and vote. I wonder if that means friend? Maybe. Oh, there we go. surprised that there's not an actual slave using this fan, but actually there are people below. Oh! This way is back to the gazebo, then. This is whatever that eight-shaped place is, and this is the place of servants. hand rule. Well, like in this instance, it's more of a way for me to keep track of where I've been, mm -hmm. what turns I've taken. Um, I come to the same place from the same direction, because I know I've gone that way already. So it's time to go back this way. That's where I came in, so we'll go this way. Which seems to be towards the servants' quarters. Or more above ground? Um, well, there's still the, the wavy place, this direction, which I don't recall if we know anything about.
here. We will have to do more exploring up above, but... There are some paths not taken. Sorry if this is boring for a bit, but I just really want to know. I want to know that I've seen everything. Uh, okay, so last time I went this way, right? No, last time I went that way. that weird puzzle thing that we don't have anything for. And here we have all three languages that we've seen. So at the top we have a bit of the warrior language, which they nicely give us the lacunae for. The unreadable there. <laughs> Meaning those those glyphs are broken and we can't be sure what they are, although we could probably be sure of the second one. Um, and then we have Seems like we also have down there like people, Abbey. The men of the Abbey are, are free. Men. That's unusually gendered. I think that's just people. The men of the fortress. The people in the fortress. As you see, it's it's the place of that warrior symbol broken off. So I guess the thing that is the the second character in the first uh, thing, or the first character in the in the that it's second character people. there is probably people or, or person, person. Rather with the plural marker after. Mm -hmm. Ah! Stop that. <laughs> Buttons. Um, okay. So... Oh, I was going to... suggest that this might be friend or help. Uh, 
so I think this might be place. Possibly. And I wonder if maybe the dot that is below the line is a genitive sort of thing. Hmm. Place of sort we of don't things. really know what the wavy one is. We know that's like slave quarters or some kind. This, I don't know no. what it is, but this is a gazebo, right? Yeah. They have a... Yeah. Protagonist confirmed socialized within patriarchal hegemony. Yes, correct. Seeing men where people should be agreed. Hack. Not that button. That button. <laughs> Although the Abbey may be um, all male, we didn't have th like there were there were some some female sounding voices hmm. that may or may not be relevant, mm -hmm. but like we we definitely have female shapes among this uh, among the musicians and, and servants up here um, and no particular reason to think that those below wouldn't also be mixed especially if they have surviving populations mm -hmm. um, no idea uh, I think this was was this Abby? yeah the lowest level right Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That does look like fort. The the bottom is one is also fortress. Right. Ack. Stop that. <laughs> so. Don't know what they call the abbey up here. We might get a clue of that later. But that's definitely definitely what we are looking at here. Is some kind of discussion of the other levels. So, people of the Abbey are free. The people of the fortress... Uh, I, I feel like that symbol is this one. That doesn't really help, but that's what it looks like. Uh, the people of the for the warriors of the fortress seek, want. Maybe they're all seek God, duty, beauty. Could be. I don't think we had free and oh. I want. I feel like there was a page we didn't. F yeah. Mask. Or drama. Or... I wonder if it's actually the thing at the bottom that we're calling necklace. I think so, but heck, stop that. Uh, how do I cancel that button? No. Try all our nouns in here. <laughs> Uh, 
about his instrument. Uh, oh. <laughs> no. Uh, what was the one uh, up and to the left of instrument? To the left? Uh, Down? Fool? Oh, we're sort of guessing it. We are also trying to guess at what music is, right? Right. So, still don't know what's in there. Well, that one has a sideways person cliff, so I wonder if it's maybe cemetery. Mm. We have seen the sideways person as dead before. Can you just pull up the glossary? Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. And that one also has an upside down. Wonder. Ooh, we have winged masks now. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Not a warrior. place we just came from. Oh. You're not going there, I guess. You have not found that place. Oh, you're not there. You not found it. <laughs> oh, oh. We don't want to go there. We found beauty. We think there. People over there are fools. Interesting. So, so it's down about here. what's in there? Oh. You of that desert that we were seeing and the river running through it. are much higher up than we were able to. <laughs> uh, like show, maybe?
know what the game is, but I'm losing. Uh, so is this like... No, not the happy face. Oh. I'm gonna figure out the rules. That was a serving task. Whatever you're doing. Maybe the amount it goes down is like proportional to the rank of what you hit. So it's actually very hard to control. <laughs> oh. I think you should try something when the boot's not there so we can learn something. Okay. Like, I'm guessing that the one on the left is maybe the. Nope. I feel like this is like the game where they had the four cart, four suits, and you're trying to find the bigger one, but this is telling us something about the relative status. the one on the that has the Nice. Woohoo! Got an 
anything? Good. I got a happy, happy mask, mask coin. coin. Do you like to play? Yeah, maybe play. Go baby place. Goodbye. I think you need to. It's Flappy Bird. Oh. The love of everything. Jeez. There's a reference. I don't think you can fall beyond the edge of the strip you're on. Should you play this game again? Well, if we want to know if it does the ranking thing. Hmm. So that seems to do the, the same amount each time for that mask. That's less. Huh. What's less? Hitting the... The smiley mask is less than the, the round face mask. Hmm. So it looks like it goes smiley uh, pentagon. Oh wait, did I try to talk to those other people yet? I agree. It, it definitely felt like it was designed for a mouse so you could click on the one you want quickly. Okay, so... Is that direction Did we go this way yet? I don't think we tried that. It's on the eye wheel. It's great for some reason. Oh, hey! <laughs> if they ever bothered to look down, they would see... I think this is play, right? Yeah. We have any real guesses for the rest of these? No. All right. This is honestly kind of exhausting to keep up with. I 
don't know. It's shiny. Oh, we came out. Oh. oh. Okay, so that's play. Climb. Climb. Uh, what herbs do we have? Maybe the one just below that? Because uh. it's going to be a verb. Do we even have climb? I don't feel like we have climb. I would, well... And fall. I huh? guess. Or maybe fire. Yeah, fire. I have no idea. I, I really don't feel like we have climb. I think that's a problem. Oh. All right then. Okay, so do I even have these? All right, so let me write down fire. It's like an olive kind of. Send. And yeah, we have play for that one. Okay. All right. Did that. Oops. Uh, I don't suppose that helped us any with this. Oh, that seems good. That's the fire. interesting, but I'm not really sure <laughs> what it was about. Ooh, another person. <laughs> you want to ascend, you're a fool. Alright. We, we have gotten that repeatedly. Object, map. 
mask necklace. What's on this tower? There are some symbols. There are some symbols. This is... Oh! This is a, a depiction of the layers of the fortress. So the abbey, or the layers of the tower. The abbey, and then the fortress, and then presumably this yeah. top one would have referenced where we are. Person like us with a blank robe fighting off some kind of monster. That's a really strange relief. So I kind of want to go look at that statue again and see if it matches the person in the relief. Statue? The one we got the fire from. No, that ha that has a mask. That has a almost a double mask. I have no idea. It feels like there must be some way to retrieve the thing that was lost down there in the sewer. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I don't feel like we're done with this level. There's so much we don't know. table with a bunch of saws? I guess it's just a table with a bunch of saws. Uh, yes, we have entered the bisexual zone with uh, bisexual lighting. Um, so I wonder if that means we can go and pick up a saw? Perhaps. the revolution. <laughs> These people are jerks. Um, well, I think that means that it is a good time to call it for the day since I don't know what to do next. <laughs> uh, we still have a few words to find in this language, so... Hopefully next time we'll get a little bit more. Um, hopefully next time we'll get a little bit more. And uh, maybe then we can ascend to the realm of the scientists, which we believe to be next. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. We'll be on next Saturday, no reason not. Right? What is next Saturday? 30th. The 30th, yeah. We'll totally be on on the 30th. So, see you next week, and thank you very much for joining us. Keep learning, friends. <laughs> <laughs>